Pisces, my water sign Pisces. What is up? What is good with y'all? I miss y'all so, so much. A viewer told me I kept calling y'all Taurus on y'all last read. So I do apologize for that. Okay. You may have Taurus in your chart or you could be connected to one. So let's see what's coming towards you in this next 48 hours. Let's get some messages from Spirit. All right. It says plastic off the sofa, Beyonce. So some of you are listening to that song right now. Okay, or you will be in the next 48 hours. This says child support. So I feel like you could be putting your person on child support or they're already on child support. Or you could be contemplating if you should put this person on child support or not. It says, I'm not ready to marry you. So some of you is married to this person and others of you, they're not ready to do this. They're scared. They have commitment phobia. I feel like there's something else distracting this person. Okay. So let's see what that could be. What is distracting Pisces person? My kids need me, it says. So this could be um, like redirecting this person's attention to their kids. Basically focusing on their kids here. Okay, they want to be around for their kids. They want to be in their kid's life. Even though they're not ready to marry you, they feel like the kids need them there. Okay. You may be connected to a cancer for some of you. All right. I reinstalled my dating apps. So someone put their dating apps back in their phone. If they had dating apps or any other apps in their phone that they took out, they put them back in. Let's see. What else? Give me a few more for Pisces and then we're going to go into another spread. Okay. 222 two, two is here. So you may be seeing that a lot. Somebody's name could be John. Okay. Aquarius is here. So you could be connected to an Aquarius. So you have Aquarius highly aspected in your chart. All right, it says, I'm no good. Yeah, so some of you are listening to this song by Amy Winehouse. Or well, there's some messages in this song for you. Okay, yeah, what's to say? For some of you, this person only wanted you for money. You may feel like this person was an opportunist the whole time. Okay, if you suspected that your person is an opportunist, they are. For others of you, it could be somebody else using your person for money. Sleeping on the floor. So somebody could be sleeping on the floor or the sofa here. It says, I have a surprise for you. So I feel like this person is wanting to come around you and give you a surprise here. It says, bust the windows. <laughs> so your person's in the doghouse and I feel like you bust the windows out their car or bust some sort of windows. Or this could be a song that you're listening to. All right. This person definitely was in foster care or group home. Slamming doors. Yeah, somebody gets mad and slams doors here. Okay, I feel like your person is unsure or indecisive of something. Well, this is you. You may be unsure or indecisive to if this relationship is going to work out. This person may be unsure if you want them back. They're indecisive. They don't know if you want them back or not. It says, I admit I'm an asshole. So your person is an asshole. They're admitting that. It says, I will never hit you or hurt you again. So this person wants to make up for what they did. It says, I need help. Therapy. Yeah. So I feel like one of the ways they want to help themselves is to go to therapy. This could be marriage therapy, counseling, relationship counseling, or they just need one-on-one -on -one session with somebody. Okay. So let's get into your messages. What's going on? What's going to happen in the next 48 hours? What's going to happen within this next 48 hours? So yeah, your person is shattered right now, broken over this entire situation, you know, because this person had a workplace affair. They dealt with somebody they was working with or did business with. Yeah, this person kept repeating cycles. Kept you on a hamster wheel. Had you going around and around and around. And it's no stopping. It's like, when do I get off? Okay. I feel like this person triggers you a lot. And you're learning some lessons here. You're learning lessons. Okay. Some of you may share locations with your person. But I feel like this person backstabbed you. I do see that they caused pain in your life. This person cheated on you or was repeatedly cheating on you cause deception they will be a deceptive playing mind games head games with you or love bombing you and i feel like you're freeing yourself now you're moving on from this person from the backstabber you're letting go and loving on you okay i feel like this person may have contracted an std here all right so this person is unhealthy right now i don't know if they know about this they may not know but they do have an std i feel like for some of you not all of you this person may have given you a std in the past not all of you. Okay, yeah. They're going to find out this bad news about this STD. They're going to find this out. This is going to be bad news to them. Okay. Let's get a few more. So you see this person as somebody who is fake. 
You feel like this person could be jealous of you, whether this is a family member, a friend, a lover, a coworker. You feel like they're a hater, like they hate on your success. They hate on what you do. And they're two-faced. They're a liar. That's how you see them. They're all fucked up in their head over you. Okay, Pisces, because they know you're fed up. You're over it. You're done with the bullshit, lies, games, and love bombing. You're fed up and frustrated with this person's options. They keep their options open and they were treating you as an option here. Okay. And now they want to reconcile with you. They're realizing that these options are not valid. They're realizing that these options are not going to do anything for them. So they want to come back and reconcile with you. Okay, be careful that this person doesn't have their options open because I see that they do when they're coming back. They have their options open. All right. This person may be bisexual or this is a same-sex relationship, but I feel like they're hiding some secrets from you. They're unsure of their sexuality. So this unsure card that popped out right here, this may be about who they want. Maybe they don't know what they want. Maybe they're not sure of their sexuality. Okay, somebody's in the closet or on the DL. Okay, so if they like... So if this person is a male, they may like men. If this person is a female, they may like other females. Yeah, this person's in the closet. I feel like that's why y'all kept clashing and bumping heads. They were hiding things from you that they didn't want to tell you. They were hiding the fact that they have some childhood wounds. You may know about this. You may not. There's been some bullying in this person's life. Sexual abuse. So I feel like their innocence was taken at an early age. I'm also seeing uh, physical abuse. So somebody was beaten a lot. I'm seeing toxic parents, a lot of argument, fuss and fighting, um, drinking. Somebody's drunk, a, a father. I feel like a father beats on this child when he's drunk. They abandon these children or this child. Yeah, there was some foster care or group home or some sort of home that this uh, child was in. Wow, yeah. So I feel like they haven't healed from that yet. Yeah, this is the surprise that they have for you. It says gift. So they're coming. It says, surprise, something you've been wanting and waiting for. So this person is wanting to bring you a gift, make it up to you, you know, sever y'all differences. And they're in this energy of figuring things out. It says, I know I was wrong and I will fix it and make it right with you. Yeah, they're coming to bring you something, a gift. But I feel like they're in this energy of feeling powerless at the same time. Even though they're figuring things out with you, they feel stuck. They're in their head. They don't know what to do or this is you. You may have some sort of anxiety here. Yeah, you may be moving and this person wants to move in together and make it official. But I feel like they're showing up in this energy as so confused. It says, what did I do wrong? I don't know what I did or how to fix it. Yeah, this person was being a catfish. They were not being themselves. They were not operating from their true authentic selves. They were wearing a mask and hiding secrets from you. Okay. You may be confused because there's a catfish coming towards you. So be careful. This person is a money or a romance scammer. But I feel like your person was being fake. Okay. And they want to make it up to you a lot. They want to take you on a bay vacation, a romantic trip, just the two of y'all. Yeah, that's what it says. That's what it says here. Give me a few more for the Pisces. Yeah, some of y'all may have had a friends with benefits relationship with this person, but you see them as a fraud because I feel like you wanted more than a friends with benefits relationship, but you feel like they do things that's unjustifiable. So they really have no reason to do the things that they doing. They just doing it. You see this person as someone who has motives. You see this person as someone who's trying to control you, a manipulator and fake pretending. Yeah, you see them as trickery, but they want to take you somewhere. And afterwards, they want to have a happy ending with luxury suite. It says, let's spend the night together. I want to spend time with you. Fireworks hot and heavy. Yeah, they want to be a homebody for you. Stay home for a few days or spend some time with you at this hotel, motel, or you may live in a luxury suite or you may like nice things. This person wants to cook for you and give you a massage. I feel like this person may have made pancakes for you before or they want to make some sort of pancakes, some breakfast for you. <laughs> Yeah, after this happy ending that they want. They want to make breakfast and, and pamper you. They, they want to take care of you. Let's get some tea on this person. Who's coming towards Pisces in this next 48 hours? Somebody that you ghosted. It says ignoring you, not calling or texting back, avoiding confrontation. So you're trying to avoid arguing with this person? Or well, this person's not calling or texting you back? Yeah, I feel like you ghosted this person because you feel like they're controlling. 
they're being controlling, trying to control you. They think they can control a situation or people in general. This person is showing up as a tyrant. Okay, they may like to throw religion out there or force religion on you. Or you may go to church with this person or this person like reads the Bible and they go to church. I see happiness is here or it's coming towards you in this next 48 hours. So I feel like you guys are going to be expressing gratitude, thanking the universe, thanking your spirit guides for this, this happiness or whatever is making you happy here. Whatever is coming in for you, you're smiling, you're happy, you're showing gratitude, you're pleased with your life. Okay. And there is someone around you or in your energy who is shady, dishonest. I feel like this person's energy is like questionable. They look very suspicious when they're around you. They're untrustworthy. Okay, they're shady, but I feel like at the same time, they're clingy. This is somebody that cannot let you go. A fire sign or this is somebody you can't let go. A Leo Aries or a Sagittarius. Give me one more. What's the outcome? High key. So somebody likes to draw on a lot of attention, likes to be public, obvious. Yeah. Something like that. So somebody here loves to show off. Yeah. You're comfortable with how things are between you and this person right now. You're in your comfort zone. I feel like you are stable, solid, independent. I feel like you are buying new clothes or a new wardrobe. Yeah. You're focused on your money here. Very abundant with the nine of pentacles. A lot of my Pisces is single. Or you will be in the next 48 hours. Yeah, I feel like you blocking somebody. You're blocking. Okay? This person's in mental conflict because you're single. They don't know if you're really single or with somebody else. So they're in mental conflict. I feel like you're in the middle of all this. I feel like this person refuses to see or acknowledge the wrongs that they do. Okay, somebody could be indecisive or just torn, torn between two relationships, I'm saying. Mm. What you don't see coming is this person taking action towards you. Yeah, abruptly, out of nowhere. This is going to come out of nowhere. They're going to give money to you, six of pentacles, give you a gift. They want to balance things out with you. They want to equal give and take with you. They want to talk to you with the queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I feel like this is somebody who you cut out of your life or divorced. Yeah, you're cutting people, places, and things out of your life that no longer serves you. And I feel like you're going around like being an act of service, giving to the poor, giving to charity, you know, helping people out. This person wants to talk about getting back together with you, okay? Yeah, they see you as their happiness. All right, Eight of Wands, they're coming in. They want to talk to you. They want a brand new passionate beginning with you. They're in love with you, the lovers. They see you as a soulmate. They feel like you two are kindred spirits. There's a, a connection here, a strong magnetic connection between the two of you. This is also a very sexual card. This talks about honesty, love, soulmates. This person is in love with you. They see you as a soulmate. But what I feel like is they're going to come in really quickly wanting to have sex. Because the lovers in the Ace of Wands is here together. So that's sex. That's sex. Okay. They're obsessed with you. Yeah. Six of Cups. They're coming back. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yep. They want things to be stable between the two of you. Four of Wands. And they want to apologize. Page of Cups. The Moon. I feel like you don't see this coming. But I feel like you don't know where you stand with this person either. Because this person was keeping secrets from you. Keeping you in the dark about things. Hiding things from you. And it's like, you do not know where you stand. Pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams are going to bring you clarity this week. All right, let's clarify. Let's clarify these cards. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Specifically Virgo. Yeah, because you're bossing up. You're taking control of a situation that has lost all control here. You want this person to take you seriously. You're being dead ass. You're like, if you don't take me seriously, I will block you. Yeah, because look, King of Wands in the reverse. This person's a player. Okay, that's what I see. This person is a player. They're controlling as well. Yep. I feel like they can be quite the bully. Okay, this person is very arrogant, aggressive, bossy, selfish, ruthless, manipulative. They have control issues. 
They may try to force their way back into your life. They're a very forceful, forceful type of lover. Hmm. Leo Aries Sagittarius energy here. Yeah. All right, y'all. Give me a second. Let me get this card up off the floor. Yeah, seven of pentacles. I mean, seven of cups. I'm sorry. Seven of cups. Two of wands. Six of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. So this person is afraid of some sort of commitment. I feel like this person backed out. I feel like you don't trust this person and they know it. For others of you, this person is afraid to take the sleep of faith. They're afraid to step into the unknown. Okay. So I feel like this person was creating an unequal give and take between the two of you in the past here, being a player, being controlling. Okay. And I feel like this person was not planning a future with you. That's what I feel like. I feel like they turned into, they were a nurturer and turned into a complete gold digger, male or female. There's some imbalance within this person's energy. I feel like this person is a witch. They do spell work, some sort of black magic here. Somebody's not stable. Somebody's not grounded. Somebody's not faithful. This queen of pentacles in the reverse is unfaithful. That's what I see here. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like this person has their options open with the seven of cups. I feel like they try to confuse you. They try to treat you as an option. I feel like this person had their options open. I feel like this person was causing illusions in your energy. This person could be doing a little bit of daydreaming and fantasizing about you. Eight of swords in the reverse. Somebody's getting out of jail. Somebody's being released from prison or they already were released. Yeah, but I'm seeing you're not feeling stuck. You're not feeling trapped. You're not feeling blocked. I do feel like this person will reach out to you with some sort of communication. For some of you, I do see you and this person getting back together. I do see you guys more happy. Okay, I do see back and forth messages here. I see a brand new passionate beginning. I do see love. I do see them coming back wanting forgiveness. Wanting to give you a gift or some flowers. They're reminiscing about you. They're thinking about you. They're missing you. And I feel like they're at a distance. Okay. There's an energy of waiting. They're waiting for you to accept their apology. Or they're waiting for the right time to give you an apology. But I feel like y'all going to be back together. For some of you. All right. For others of you, you just don't know where you stand. It's like, yeah, you want things to be stable between you and this person. But you don't know where you stand. Okay, some of you may be pregnant and you don't know this. But there's been an imbalance in your relationship. And I feel like they've been having trouble healing because they're not accepting what has happened between the two of you. They feel like you don't give them no attention, no recognition, the time of day. They feel like you ghosted them. Yeah, they, they feel like... Um, you feel like they wasted your time or they feel like you wasted theirs. Yeah, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Mm -mm. This person is, uh, somebody's needy, emotionally immature. They may spread rumors or they're just unstable emotionally. This person may be aloof with you. This person is clingy, manipulative. They may mistake sex as love. So they feel like the more you sleep with them, you have to love them because you wouldn't be sleeping with them like this. Somebody's receiving karma. That's what the Queen of Cups in reverse is. This Queen of Cups may be another woman. And if this is another woman or another man that your person was entertaining, I feel like this person's going to waste your person's time. But yeah, you feel like they wasted your time. You know, you feel like you've been in a relationship or a situation with this person for a long time. Maybe four years, six years, a year. Eight years, two years, six months, nine years, nine months. Yeah. So, oh boy. 
Like I said, some of y'all are going to get back together with your person. For others of you, you're moving on. You're letting go of this person and you're loving you. You're loving you. Okay? You are... You know who you are. You know your standards, your breaking points. You know your morals and values. And I feel like you're not going to be treated as an option. You're sick and tired of this person looking at you as an option or having their options open or treating you as an option. And then when the shit don't work out, they want to come back to you. But that's what I see. There's a karmic lesson being learned here for both of you guys. So you have the free will to do what you want to do. I can't tell you guys what to do. But use your discernment. Listen to your intuition when this person does come back towards you in this next 48 hours. Because you're going to need to make a decision. And I feel like you are going to make that decision. You are going to make some sort of decision here. All right. Some of you already did this. But this is your reading for the next 48 hours. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching the entire video. That means the world to me. Like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Turn your post notification on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I have for you guys.